This video is for palpation of the muscle known as supinator. Supinator is a deep muscle of the extensor surface area of the forearm. It has two large attachments that insert into one large insertion. Our first attachment is going to be on the lateral epicondyle of the humerus here. And this portion of it's gonna wrap in this direction towards the radius. And the second attachment is called the supinator crest of the ulna. Now this one's a little bit tricky to get at, but I'm gonna name off a couple of bony landmarks to help us landmark ourselves and where we will be looking. First thing is finding the ulna and working our way distal along that shaft. The second portion is where is the head of the radius? So I've landmarked her head of the radius, just distal from the lateral epicondyle of the humerus here. The supinator crest is distal to the radial notch, which is currently where this head is sitting in on the ulna. So if you've palpated the head of the radius, you need to be below that on the ulna, basically where my thumb is right now. It is fairly long in relationship to this muscle kind of attachment, so I'm gonna sink in in between the ulna and the radius, right in this area here. And then I'm gonna ask my partner to supinate and turn her hand over. Good, you can go back. Let's do that a couple times. So you'll feel a lot of pressure build up as we're over top of supinator, but this muscle is underneath all of the extensor group, so it will be tricky to feel. So we have fibers running in this direction, as well as fibers running in this direction as they wrap around the whole proximal radius. So the insertion of supinator is three parts in that it says it's the posterior the lateral and the anterior surface of the proximal radius, kind of just distal to the head. So again, if I can feel where that head is, I'm gonna sink in a little bit through the extensor group, ask her to supinate, good. And back, we'll go a little bit further onto kind of that lateral, get her to do that again, good. And this last part here, I'm gonna to try to pull her wad of three over the most anterior muscle being brachioradialis. I'm going to position her arm slightly differently. So I'm going to take a couple fingers, hook in past brachioradialis and drop down onto that proximal radius. And again, I'm going to ask her to supinate against a little bit of resistance. Good. And relax. This area can often be a little bit tender, so just take care when you're palpating this muscle. And that will be origin to insertion from supinator. Its actions are obviously supination of the radial ulnar joints of the forearm, but secondarily, it does some flexion of the elbow. And just like all of our muscles on the extensor surface, it is innervated by the radial nerve.